Hi there, my name is Kristen Wolf, and I am the CAPS Program Manager for the Colorado Department of Agriculture. What is the CAPS Program? To understand the CAPS Program and where it fits within the Colorado Department of Agriculture, we're going to take a brief overview of the department. Within the department, there are several different divisions. There is the Colorado State Fair Division, the Animal Health Division, Conservation Division, Markets Division, Brands Division, Inspection Division, and the Plant Industry Division. We're going to focus on the Plant Industry Division. Within every division, there are multiple different programs. Some of the programs within plant industry are pesticides, industrial hemp, organics, phytosanitary, and pest survey. This is where the CAPS program falls within the pest survey program. The Colorado Department of Agriculture as a whole has an important mission to keep in mind. The mission is to strengthen and advance Colorado agriculture, promote a safe and high quality food supply, protect consumers, and foster responsible stewardship of the environment and natural resources. And the CAPS program plays an important role in this mission. But what is CAPS? CAPS is an acronym that stands for Cooperative Agricultural Pest Survey. We're going to dive a little bit deeper into each of these pieces of the acronym. So cooperative refers to all of the different groups that the Colorado Department of Agriculture cooperates with. The first group is USDA APHIS, the United States Department of Agriculture, specifically within the USDA, the Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service. The USDA funds the CAPS program. So the Colorado Department of Agriculture and the USDA work together to complete the pest surveys done throughout the state of Colorado. But Colorado also works with other groups within the state. For example, Colorado State University Extension, Colorado State Forest Service, Parks and Recreation for many different cities, Colorado Wine, Colorado Fruit and Vegetable Growers Association, and many different other groups spread throughout the state, depending on what pests and what commodities are being surveyed. So the CAPS program is funded by the USDA, and the USDA works with Colorado, but the USDA also works with other states like California, Montana, Pennsylvania, and many different others. In fact, every single state has the CAPS program funded by the USDA. Another name for the CAPS program manager is a state survey coordinator. But not only does the USDA work with Colorado and every other state, but each state works with each other. Colorado works with color or California works with Colorado, Colorado works with Montana, Montana, Pennsylvania, and so on and so forth. This way, the states can communicate one with another to relay information like incoming pests of importance, best practices for managing pests or quarantining for pests, and how to keep pests from crossing over state lines. The second part of the acronym is agricultural. So this one is pretty obvious. We are focused on safeguarding the agriculture of Colorado. All of the commodities shown here are commodities that Colorado is currently surveying for pests within. So many of our surveys take place in wheat fields, corn fields, farms, 
and orchards. The pest survey portion mainly focuses on early detection. We're looking for invasive pests. This means that these pests are not currently known to occur in Colorado. Many of the pests that we focus on don't currently occur anywhere in the United States and are native to other countries. We want to make sure that these pests don't enter Colorado, but if they do, we want to find them as soon as possible. This will give us the best shot for quarantine, control, and hopefully eradication. But there are a few different methods that go into the early detection of pests. The first is trapping and surveying. And we're going to talk about this in depth a little bit later on. The second is monitoring pathways. Many of our trapping and surveying efforts are focused on pathways. Pathways are areas where it is more likely that the pest will be introduced. Some examples of pathways are things like railways, firewood, campsites, and wood packaging material. And the third component to early detection is outreach and education. Many first detections of insects are made by just regular people out in the state. And so it's really important for us to widen our reach to as many people as possible to help people understand what to look for, where to look for it, and who to report it to. Just to recap briefly, CAPS, Cooperative Agricultural Pest Survey, refers to Colorado working cooperatively with many different groups, both within and without the state. Agricultural refers to all of the different commodities within the state that we are trying to safeguard. And pest survey refers to all of the invasive species, both insects and pathogens, that we are hoping to detect as early as possible. So what is Colorado doing specifically with its pest survey program? Well, we have many different surveys and each of them focuses on different commodities within Colorado. The first is the Forest Pest Survey. This survey mainly focuses on trees like pine, fir, and cedar. Some of the pests that we survey for within this survey are shown here, like the European spruce bark beetle, the Siberian silk moth, the large pine weevil, and the black fur sawyer. And some of these pictures show the vast amounts of damage that these pests can inflict on our forests. The second survey is called the Bundled Commodity Survey. And this survey is focused on tomatoes, onions, peppers, and watermelon. And some of the pests that we survey for are shown here, like the Old World Bullworm, the Allium Leaf Miner, Tomato Fruit Borer, Cucurbit Beetle, and one of our pathogens, Ralstonia solanaceum. Our next survey is called the Small Grains and Corn Survey, and this mainly focuses on wheat and corn. Some of the pests surveyed for are shown here, like the sun pest, Cochlacella snails, silver wire moth, and the cotton cutworm. Another current survey for Colorado is called the stone fruit and grape survey. This survey focuses on grapes, nectarines, plums, peaches, cherries, and apricots. The main pests that we survey for are 
are shown here, the apple maggot, plum curculio, and spotted lanternfly. This slide shows some of the methods that are currently being used to survey for these pests. The top three traps are all traps used in the forest pest survey, and the bottom traps are all used in bundled commodity, small grain survey, and the stone fruit and grape survey. The top left trap is called a lingering funnel trap. This is mainly used to survey for small bark beetles. The center top trap is called a milk carton trap. It is mainly used to survey for gypsy moth and dendrolemus moths. The top right trap is called a cross vein panel trap, and it is mainly used to survey for longhorn beetles. The bottom left photo is depicting a visual survey. So some insects that we are serving for do not have an approved trapping, trapping method, and so we have to um, simply look for these pests. The bottom center trap is called a plastic bucket trap, and it is mainly used to survey for different moth species. And the bottom right trap is called a plastic delta trap, which is also mainly used to survey for moth species. And each of these traps all use different pheromone lures to attract the target species. Now we have many different surveys in Colorado and many different pests that we are looking for. And our surveys are constantly evolving every year to keep up with new pests that might be on the horizon and could pose a threat to Colorado's agriculture. But we can't always find every pest and be on the lookout for everything. There are always things changing. You may have heard of emerald ash borer, or Japanese beetle. Gypsy moth is another important invasive species, Asian longhorn beetle, and more recently, spotted lanternfly and Asian giant hornets. But we need everyone's help. Everyone in Colorado can help the CAPS program and can help protect Colorado's agriculture. We need everyone out there to be aware of invasive pests and if they see something suspicious, to report it to us as soon as possible. If you see something, please say something. And that is the CAPS program in a nutshell.